was born in December 8th, El Día de la Comunión, the day of the Immaculate Conception, me and the Virgin Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a virgin <laughs> after all these years. And it's true, because when you think about virgin, what it means originally is a woman that belongs to herself. Nothing to do with uh, whatever you have in your concha between that needs to be penetrated and broken. Actually, it's not literal. Or the original mean or meaning of virgin is a symbolic one that uh, your father or brother or spouse, husband, or partner, that non, no man owns you. It's not about owning, you belong to yourself. My name is Liliana. I know I'm a soul. Ya llegaste. Ya llegaste. I fall in love and I discover sex. And uh, it's with a boy that uh, everyone thinks he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not at all. Eventually I become gay, but I mean, gay, straight, whatever. They're all boxes they put us in. Huh? So that's fun. So I fall in love and I experience sexuality and it opens for me as a girl at the time something that is a taboo. I ended up feeling so much guilt uh, that as a woman I get to a point where I start splitting myself. That now there is the good girl and the bad girl. My name is Liliana. I know I'm a soul. Ya llegaste. Ya llegaste. My relationship to tango. Well, tango. My parents came to La Boca, my grandparents, at the time was a As intelligent as I can be, my body knows better and uh, stay with the animal and go from there because the animal is a, carries the essence of your spirit. That's been 57 years of work to tame my animal <laughs> but not castrate it. Mm -hmm. My name is Liliana. I know I'm a soul. Ya llegaste, ya llegaste. This is the first time, 10 years, from my mid 40s to my mid 50s that I live alone. So there's no one to blame, <laughs> just my cats maybe, but I have to face myself every day. And uh, my mother's uh, blood, she grew up uh, in the in El Campo, in a rancho, uh, with an outhouse. That's how I have been living here for the last ten years. So last time she comes here, 
and she's already close to 80 and she sees me living like this after I have lived in Jerusalem and London, England and Montreal, Quebec and Victoria, BC and I'm back in the country with an outhouse. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> You're going back. Anyway, it's my mama. She, we drink mate and uh, she's going to be 87 this August. So that's where I'm going, to Jerusalem, to be close to Mama. I am from my beloved, and my beloved is for me, Ledodi, Ledodi, Li. I'm still a virgin. The deer around the property, right? And I bring them here and then I shoot them. And then I cook them on the stove. So you know, I am vegetarian, right? Dr. Kleiner 